the Rick Hendrick Racing Stable. Jeff Bodine has won the Daytona 500. Darryl Walter. Terry Labonte. 2001 NASCAR Winston Cup champion, Jeff Gordon. Jimmy Johnson wins his seventh NASCAR oh Winston Cup championship. When people look at Hendrick Motorsports, they see drivers and teams bringing home race wins, trophies, championships. But behind all that, the unsung heroes, the people back at the shop, you know, the army of people on the road, 38 weeks a year, those people are the ones that, that are what make us successful. What a difference it makes. Stays like this. Auto Club Speedway may be closed today. Oh, the hell it will. Everyone just wants things to work. They just don't know how much goes into making them work, which I think that's pretty much across the board IT. In racing, I mean, I probably had the same misconception until I got in it. You've got the cars, you've got sensors, you've got all sorts of people communicating all around the track, all over the world. It just makes sense there'd be a lot of data, but you just don't think about it going into it. Having IT work properly at the racetrack is critical. Timing and scoring that the engineers are dependent on to manage fuel mileage, to manage strategy in the race. It's the network at the track that he's having to tie into in order to make all that work. You know, Brian and, and his team are connected to all of that and you know, put, puts a, a lot on them, especially making sure it all works properly on race day. Each morning, uh, they let the hauler drivers in about 15 minutes early. Uh, IT gets in with the hauler drivers, so, but it's on the second. We're off to the races. My race day is almost nonstop, making sure everything's good to go before the crew chiefs and the engineers step foot on the box. That's my goal. Pretty good at it, I think, 99% of the time. Nine should be set. We just gotta do a little bit of cleanup and then we should be rocking and rolling there. Gotta move on, double check the five. We did it the other day, but we did it in the rain, so I wanna double check and make sure we're solid there. And then I gotta find the 24 and then go back to the 48. Worst case scenario is the network goes down. If no data is moving, a lot of seconds get lost. You'll see me sprinting and running up and down pit road. All right, now on to the 48, all the way at the other end of pit road. Oh, right behind you. Pardon me, excuse me. Pardon me, pardon me. I'm gonna probably take a shortcut. I think I can count on one hand how many times we've actually been in the same area on pit road. Depending on where we're going or where I'm at, uh, you'll see me get my step done. I kept track for a while and I was sitting like 20,000, 25,000. Brian's a machine, he's invaluable. If things aren't set up properly, then there's no communication and uh, it's gonna be difficult to win races without any communication or data. Everyone wants to be in victory lane because it's a lot of effort. I mean, again, like you said, you're doing these videos because there's so much stuff going on behind the scenes that nobody knows anything about. The traveling, it's, it takes its toll. I mean, I'm away from my family a lot. You're just putting in tons of hours, tons of time, traveling everywhere, a lot of headaches, little sleep, and then you get to victory lane and it's just, it's the icing on the cake. So it kind of makes everything worth it. I'm starting to actually get some time off. We've got some more people we're training to do some of the track side stuff. So hopefully I'll be swapping out some races. We're setting up recording sessions for the high vision on all of the cameras. Now technically we can set this up ahead of time, but I wanted you to do it. So we're checking wireless access point right there. So that means we got network in the hauler, all the radios for Luke are on. We'll probably want to do a radio test with him shortly. Off to the next hauler. In Fontana, I was helping Brian out, and um, he's gotten me up to speed. One of the several hidden closets we have of IT equipment scattered around the track. So we were setting up all the network, all the radios, all the video equipment, the weather equipment. So now be careful, it's been raining, so at a certain point, it may shoot out a ton of water. Rain's my worst enemy. You've got electricity, you've got network stuff, we've got cables spread everywhere. The worst is when you get everything set up and everything's working and then a downpour. I've never been to Fontana, so the weather was a little bizarre. Uh, I think it snowed and it rained and then we got the whole race in, no, no problem. So that was interesting. It's brutal because you're out there in the rain, running back and forth, climbing up haulers, taking poles down, taking the antennas down, uh, feet get soaked, pants are wet. 
yeah, I don't like rain too much, so. On to the next one. Did we even turn on in the nine, that uh, mini PC up top? I'll do it. We start the SMT on there, and then executive computer yeah. for JG. I'm responsible for what happens in the entire track, so I do kind of have the all-encompassing, I get to talk to everybody. He's pulled in a lot of different directions. I see, I see Brian some days, and I'm like, okay, I've, I've got something that I'd like to, to you know, have him work on, but maybe now is not the time. Even now I'm communicating back and forth with people back on campus, I don't dealing with issues on campus. I, I don't doubt it one bit. You need like 15 arms. Do you got that six-footer? I guess it would help we had power on there. All right, and then up top. Are you doing a bright tea documentary or what? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, we're gonna have to try and troubleshoot that. Every time he keys up, it powers it off. Where the hell did he go? <sighs> How's the day in life going? Oh, it's fantastic. Patton, Donnie, Jacob, Elliot. What's up, Alex? How's it going? It's going, man. I gotta make sure that, that we're race ready on pit road. I gotta reprogram radios. We're gonna have to rip that one out later. He's getting that helicopter noise. I, we're gonna have to try and figure that out with Green Go. That's money right there. Everything's working like it should right now. RJ, you good? We should be good. I haven't even had a second to watch the race. When I was a driver, I didn't even understand, you know, that there were people like that, that, that you relied on so much and the teams relied on so much. So the teams are very aware of it, very appreciative of it. I very rarely get time to actually go eat on race day, so Scotty gets me cheeses. <laughs> I do, for real. I'm trying to take care of my guys. If Brian takes care of me, I'll help him any way I can. I actually truly do like my job. I like it because if I, to be fair, I, if I sat behind a cubicle for eight hours, I'd probably pull my hair out. So I don't have to do that. And again, I get to work with tons of great people at every level of the organization, which is cool.